There are so many benefits to practicing sustainability for our campus. Um, just to mention a few, you know, we have the economic benefit whereby if our campus, you know, engages in sustainability initiatives and uh, solutions, they get to have long-term savings um, on their operations and also on their capital investments. We also have the resiliency that comes along with sustainability. Being a sustainable campus, you get to be more resilient to climate risks. USF St. Petersburg campus has a 100 kilowatt PV system located on the roof of the parking garage that's hooked up to a Tesla solar storage system, as well as a 40 kilowatt solar carport adjacent to our warehouse labs. Together, these systems have produced approximately 1,100 megawatt hours of clean energy since 2016. This is equivalent to removing a year's worth of electricity emissions from nearly 150 homes. A green building is one that in its design, construction and operation mitigates or eliminates negative impacts to the environment. Instead, it creates positive impacts on our climate, the natural environment, our social well-being and the economy. On campus, we have six buildings that have been certified as green through the U.S. Green Building Council. An innovative system known as the OCAR was installed in 2019 to naturally break down food waste generated in our dining hall. The OCAR can break down up to 15 pounds of food waste per hour and has diverted more than 16,000 pounds of food waste from the landfills. The Bebero Food Forest provides a unique space for students to practice urban agriculture. Students use this space to learn various approaches to sustainable food production in an urban setting. It is just amazing to see the variety of fruits and vegetables that have been produced in this small piece of land. The campus is presently a pre-registered subscriber to the Duke's Clean Energy Connection Program in order to expand our renewable energy portfolio. This is a shared solar program that allows our campus to increase its renewable energy capacity without incurring equipment, installation or maintenance costs associated with traditional solar PV systems. Through our Green Building Initiative, we are retrofitting most, if not all, of our non-certified buildings into energy efficient buildings, which is a precursor to becoming a green building. In the coming months, we will be switching out all existing fluorescent bulbs with LED fixtures in 18 of our buildings through an energy efficiency program with Duke Energy. We also plan to expand our Bayboro food forest in the next coming months. Through this project, we hope to increase access to fresh, healthy and nutritious fruits to the larger campus community, increase plant diversity on campus, reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and provide opportunities for public education on topics such as food sovereignty, permaculture and other sustainable land use approaches. Obviously, all this great work will not have taken place if it wasn't for the expertise and passion of our faculty and staff, our caring students, especially those involved in our Student Green Energy Fund that helped to fund some of these sustainability initiatives and our community partners.